One Tree Hill ended its run. What has the reaction kind of been like for you guys? Um, it's been phenomenal, um, especially via uh, Twitter. You know, a lot of people have reached out to all of us cast members to tell us how they're coping and how, you know, they're dealing with it. And uh, it's been a really, really supportive atmosphere. And everybody's like sad to see it go, but at the same time happy that it lasted so long, I think. I mean, the show has been on for nine years. Did you, you obviously never saw this coming, but what will you take away from your experience on that show? I, I mean, I think personally I'll take away, you know, there's nine years of my life that I spent with the show. So there's a lot of growth that happens during that time. And um, I'm, real, I'm real proud to have gone through all those changes with the show. And so, you know, I just think I'll take away a lot of memories about sort of life in general as with, you know, the show One Tree Hill as a backdrop. What has been the most memorable, you know, episode or scene for you? Somewhere around there in the middle, around season four, when, um, you know, the characters are sort of graduating high school and moving on with their lives. Those were, there was a lot of memorable moments in there, a lot of powerful moments for, felt like my character and all the characters in general. So I do remember a lot of those, especially since we jumped ahead five years after that season four. I remember a lot of those moments as being sort of the last of, um, of that era of One Tree Hill, so. Um, and you know, you've obviously directed episodes too. Do you see that in your future? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the opportunity to direct on the show is something that I value highly and I hope to capitalize on at some point. Cool. And is there anything that you're working on right now or anything you have on tap? Yeah, yeah, right now I've got a, um, a script that I've written called Stallworth that I've got in production with um, a producer out of Austin named Suzanne Weiner and also a, uh, an independent film called Lost on Purpose that we're crossing our fingers, it gets into some good festivals and, um, and you know, we, we make the rounds.